In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Chicago, so before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Chicago, the largest city in Illinois and the third largest in the U.S., is situated on the beaches of Lake Michigan and offers a wealth of cultural, musical, historical, and architectural activities. People who enjoy culture can take a stroll around Millennium Park and The Loop to admire outdoor artwork, such as the iconic Bean, visit renowned museums like the Art Institute of Chicago, or take a cruise on the Chicago River to view cutting-edge architectural wonders. Purchase a ticket to a baseball game, attend a live performance of blues or jazz, all of which have long histories in Chicago, or enjoy the comedy shows at Second City, where many notable comics began their careers, if you want to get to know the locals. When Sinatra visited Chicago in the middle of the 20th century, it may have been a toddling town, but it has grown into a world-class adult city with music, art, food, culture, and sports. In fact, Chicago has won Condé Nast Traveler's Reader's Choice Awards for finest large U.S. city for a number of years running. There are unforgettable things for you to see and do no matter what your interests are. The city's first-rate public transportation infrastructure, Divi Bike Share Program, and easily accessible lakefront route make getting about Chicago simple. Consider buying a Chicago City Pass for visitors to receive 50% off of five of the city's greatest attractions. Although Chicago may not be a city that never sleeps, there is undoubtedly more to do than you can possibly do. Don't be misled by Chicago's numerical moniker, this location is unrivaled. In fact, you would quickly run out of fingers if you tried to count how many top-notch attractions and oddities are on display here. Here are the sum of the 10 top things to do in Chicago, let's start. Number 10. Walk through Navy Pier. Chicago's Navy Pier, with its recognizable Ferris wheel, stretches out onto Lake Michigan. As you walk the length of the pier, you may take advantage of the many cute boutique stores, delicious restaurants, gardens, temporary exhibitions, and historic sites. It's one of the nicest things to do in Chicago if you want some downtime, it's just over 100 years old. Additionally, the Navy Pier has some fantastic fireworks displays during the summer. Here is a schedule for their fireworks displays. Also, make a reservation at the Three Arts Club Cafe for a delicious and utterly memorable meal. The cuisine is absolutely great, and it's beautiful. Number 9. Chill Millennium Park. The most recognizable and exciting green space in Chicago is Millennium Park, which is situated beside Lake Michigan. The park, which was initially constructed for, you guessed it, the Millennium, serves as the venue for several events that take place all year long. Check the calendar of future concerts and activities if you're visiting, they're typically rather good. Attend one of the concerts held on the Great Lawn and J. Pritzker Pavilion areas to immerse yourself in some culture. If you prefer something else, try hitting a few balls at the renowned Wrigley Stadium, or maybe just watch for us novices. Number 8. Around the Magnificent Mile, people dine, shop, and stay. The Magnificent Mile is the place to go if you want to find a wide variety of stores, foreign cuisine, live entertainment, and some of the city's most stunning natural and architectural landmarks. It is after all likely one of Chicago's most well-known neighborhoods. The Mile is a 13-block section of Michigan Avenue that runs from the Chicago River's edge to Oak Street. The Magnificent Mile is a must-visit for anybody in Chicago with more than 275 restaurants, 460 stores, 60 hotels, and a variety of amazing attractions. Check into the Talbot Hotel, which has beautiful rooms, for a fantastic spot to stay. In addition, the John Hancock Building is close by. Number 7. Visit Shed to learn about conservation. When considering things to do in a significant international metropolis, an aquarium may not be the first thing that comes to mind, but Chicago's Shed Aquarium should not be missed. With more than 8,000 aquatic animals on display, it is the largest indoor aquarium in the world. Shed also concentrates on educating, promoting, and showcasing the best approaches to safeguard marine habitats and improve the state of the oceans. It's interesting to note that Shed was the first inland aquarium to feature permanent saltwater exhibits, with saltwater transported to Chicago via railroad tank wagons directly from the Key West waters. Number 6. Views are to be enjoyed at the John Hancock Cent. In the heart of Chicago's downtown, on North Michigan Avenue, stands the enormous skyscraper known as the John Hancock Center. 
The 1,127-foot, 344-meter, tall, 100-story building is one of the city's most recognizable skyscrapers, in my opinion. Also don't forget to visit 360 Chicago, a magnificent observation deck located on the 94th level of the structure, for amazing views of the city, Lake Michigan, and the magnificent mile. It's especially wonderful around sunset or when there is very little fog. The viewing area may occasionally be above the clouds. It has magic. Number 5. Zoo at Lincoln Park. This zoo is unique in that it has an ape house, birdhouses, and a working replica of a five-acre Midwestern farm, to name a few things. The Lincoln Park Zoo, which was established in 1868 and is regarded as the country's first free public zoo, continues to operate all year long with no entrance fees. The zoo welcomes guests with the elegance of Georgian revival buildings and a magnificent greenhouse. It is situated on picturesque park grounds with lush meadows and comfortable walks. Elephants, giraffes, sea lions, gorillas, reptiles, and the red wolf, one of the most endangered canons in the world, are prominent zoo residents. Number 4. Chicago Observatory Deck, 360. Visitors travel 1,000 feet above the city in the former John Hancock Center's elevator after 40 seconds, arriving at the 94th floor 360 Chicago Observation Deck. On a clear day, vistas from Chicago's third-largest structure can be seen for up to 80 miles. There are educational displays available in four different languages. Chicago's highest bar, Bar 94, serves Koval distillery-infused drinks and local revolution brews. Alternatively, you might reserve a table in advance for dinner or stop by for a drink at the renowned. Continue to take in the breathtaking views in the 95th floor signature room. Adventurers should experience tilt, a unique feature that allows you to stand in a glass box while it tilts over the top of the tower and provides you with views from 1,030 feet above while you do so. Number 3. Astronomary Museum and Planetarium of Adler. Imagine the challenge facing children who learn about space from Pixar. Even rocket experts have trouble visualizing the scale and makeup of the ever-expanding universe. The Adler Planetarium and AMP, Astronomy Museum, the first planetarium in the U.S., takes visitors on a journey of planetary exploration with its more than 35,000 square feet of exhibit space, two full-size planetarium theaters, workshops, camps, and special family activities. As instructors give demonstrations, telescope viewings, crafts, or exhibit explanation practically every day, it's a starry, starry night and day. The world's first Star Rider Theater is a fully digital, virtual outer space environment that allows you to actively engage by controlling controls on seat armrests, and Adler's famous Sky Theater faithfully recreates the night sky on its dome since 1930. Number 2. Lakefront Trail in Chicago. The 18.5-mile Lakefront Trail is a linear walkway that runs from the far north of the city to the south side and is found east of Lake Shore Drive. Along with famous cultural sites like the Museum of Science and Industry, the Field Museum, Shedd Aquarium, Adler Planetarium and Amp, Astronomy Museum, Chicago Children's Museum, Peggy Notabert Nature Museum, Lincoln Park Zoo, and South Shore Cultural Center, neighborhoods can be found all along the route. The paved path is quite popular with joggers, cyclists, and walkers, and on warm weekends, it can and does get packed, to the tune of 100,000 a day on a sunny summer weekend. One of the busiest areas of the trail is Navy Pier, so be prepared to slow down there. Number 1. River Cruise from the Chicago Architecture Center. Both residents and visitors must view Chicago's architectural marvels from the decks of a river cruise ship. The Cac River Cruise, one of the most enjoyable tours in the city, spends about an hour and a half cruising along the lake's north and south banks. Visitors will learn about more than 50 structures and their relevance to Chicago's architectural landscape, as well as about the history of the entire city and how it developed from a small outpost in the Midwest to one of the most significant crossroads in the entire globe. In 90 minutes, you'll learn the inside scoop on Chicago's fascinating history and stunning architecture. From late April to mid-November, tours are offered. Remember to buy your tickets in advance because they frequently sell out. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our new uploads.
In the end, thanks for watching, and see you next time.